We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to test new resistance levels and breaking out to the upside. And today within the volatility, our SPY bot sent out a bull indicator since 9.05 a.m. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint with full strength, 42 vision into the bell and after the bell continue with strength and call options went up a hundred percent plus within hours guys if you guys would like to gain access to the 42 vision indicator and our bots check out the link down below in the description to the discord getting connected over to 42 vision our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the SPY, full extension here, leaving the dip area way back here on Friday of last week, white with red borders, full transition on that same day, consolidation, but slightly going higher, and today it actually went ahead and found support and bounced off those levels, broke through resistance, and has continued to go higher. We're going to break down what has caused everything to move up to this point, and the question mark is, could it continue? But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity over the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our Tesla bot. It sent out a bull indicator since 9.05 a.m. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint with full strength. 42 vision continued with strength into the bell as well. And call options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index and as you see it here it continues to push up higher and it seems like shorts continue to cover their positions right we've covered this in previous videos and here we are with it slightly rejecting at a key resistance level of 385 as i mentioned in yesterday's video it was going to be a key resistance level to watch if that gets broken through We'll talk about the next resistance above that. I'm going to pull up the bull and bear indicators in the inflow versus outflow, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. In today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator as well which gives us that extra layer of confirmation within the volatility and gives us that edge. So here we are with the SPY under a bull indicator since Friday. We're going to cover why that happened. Everything started moving up very quickly after bouncing off 362, a previous support level in the history of the chart way back before in June and also in October. And here we are with it pushing up higher and it continued for the last two days. Now today, we have actually broken out and we're at a key level of resistance, which is 385. And if that gets broken through, the next level is 388. And on the 30 minute chart, the outflows had began yesterday. They had not crossed. And that's why the stock continued to go higher. And today, it actually crossed for a small amount of time, less than an hour in the pre-market quickly cross back over the inflows were strong and we continue to roar to newer highs this is becoming more and more evident that there are shorts possibly going ahead and covering their positions making things move up very very quickly because think about it we bounced from way back here at the new 52 week low in the middle of october at the 348 area from 348 all the way up to the 370s we went ahead and zigzagged here within the volatility and here we are breaking back above 
and we're currently above the resistance of 370 that happened on that date and we rejected it to pull back down and here we are in the 380s which is where we continue to reject back here at the beginning of october when things try to bounce off the 350 360 area and reach 380s this is becoming more and more evident that there are some shorts covering but what has actually stirred up this bullishness right and for these inflows to stay above on the 30 minute and also on the one hour here as it was starting to turn red switch to green as i was watching i did state we're still above the midpoint here and if that switch from red to green the resistance was 380 above that 385 and if we can break through 385 the next level is 388 which we're going to break down in just a moment but let's talk about the article that came out on friday so when it looked like things were pulling back down from the 370s to the 360s we bounced off of it and on friday things started moving up very quickly well what came out these were the headings fed mary daly sparks market optimism right in the fact that there's a possibility of going ahead and slowing down rates and here is the article from friday of last week feds daly says it's time to start talking about slowing rate hikes we talked about this on our video on friday and over the weekend on sunday going into monday and stating how 75 isn't going to be forever and how on november 1st and 2nd policy meeting this could be something to start talking about right it's not confirmed yet just because daly states it doesn't mean the fed is following we need to see how j powell reacts but this is creating that optimism and to this day, we're still getting these type of headlines in regards to slowing the pace of interest rate hikes. Now, some are stating that this could be possible and it's bound to happen along the lines down the road, whether it's this next meeting or in the next few meetings. But rate hikes definitively going away, not just yet, not a pivot, but a slowdown is possible. Okay, something to keep in mind here and what's going on. Then we also had on Friday treasury secretary yellen go ahead and state we haven't seen inflation go down but we're on the path to bring it down creating even further optimism that the fed knows what they're doing they know what they're working on and where they're heading and here we are with this effect and this is reminding me of one single thing it's not guaranteed to be exactly the same just yet but what happened back in july going into august right we had one of the Fed members come out and state that the Fed is actually going ahead and doing their job and that the market is getting ahead of itself, pricing in a 100 basis point hike. And what did the markets do? They rallied, guys, and really fast. We went from the 370s all the way up to the 430s, and then things in August got turbulent, especially with the CPI data and then everything coming out moving forward. Now... The only difference is we're trying to leave here the new 52 week low and you can see here on the one day chart we had hit multiple white red borders multiple white red borders two consecutive ones back here and we're trying to bounce back up the last time we bounced no bull indicator but this time that we're bouncing here bull indicator and guess what the inflows were still below the midpoint and this time the inflows are crossing so something to watch carefully not guaranteed to continue going higher but the fact that inflows crossed over we got that bull indicator it is something to watch here on the bigger picture and fed daily came out and created optimism again just like what happened back here in july going into august that's what it's reminding me of the most now on the four hour chart you could see it here as well inflows crossed the midpoint here since friday They've continued upwards, pulling away from the midpoint and full strength beyond 42 vision. Now, when we zoom in here and we look at this from the 30 minute chart or even the one hour chart, you could see that it seems like we're overextended. Eventually, this could slow down. Now, just because it slows down does not mean it has to come all the way back down, but it could be the next setup for the next bull run if there is a slight pullback. And I'm going to share with you guys the key levels that I'm watching. So based off the 30 minute, 
we have done a complete transition from the dip area into the rip area just alone on Friday. And then in the last two days, we've been in a rip area and with inflows looking pretty strong. Okay, now we're going ahead and turning back around really, really fast here in the aftermarket hours. This is probably the fastest turnaround that we've had in the last three days. Look at this one right here. Continuation. Look at this one right here. Consolidation and this one pretty steep pullback. So something to keep in mind. So the first support level here is 380 guys. If that gets broken through the next support is the low here in the pre market of 377. I'm going to be watching these inflows versus outflows. And if this red continues to pull down lower and cross the midpoint, this is something important to watch here on the 30 minute and also how it's reacting here on the 15 minute as we are really close here on the 15 minute chart. I want you guys to see this more clearly right there near that midpoint. If that crosses down and pulls down with it even further, it could start to reflect here in the chart and you can see here in the aftermarket hours, it has a bear indicator. So I'm going to be watching if that can get canceled by a bull indicator. And if these inflows could hold up here on the 15 minute and pull back up to the upside and try to retest that key resistance level of 385. If that gets broken through, the next resistance is 388. And then we can start talking about higher levels if that's accomplished. And again, to the downside, 380, 377. And I'm going to be watching how these outflows versus inflows on the 30 minute and one hour want to react because yes, we are above the midpoint, but if they switch from green to red and start to pull down very quickly, especially if this 15 minute goes ahead and pulls down the whole chart with it, crossing it like it did back here on Thursday, October 20th, once it crossed and it got that bear indicator, the whole entire spy went from 370 to lows here of 364 so something to keep in mind and watch very carefully as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money